Page 23, The Sundial Waltz. There's a little note under the title. This time they're telling you to play the grace notes as in the second way, noted on page 22, which means a very quick note. They're saying right before the beat, I say, I'm playing mine on the beat because that's what I'm used to. So you play yours before the beat if that's how you want, and I'll do mine on the beat. For instance, second line, because that's where the grace notes are. Look at the first measure. You have this G to E. The G's grace notes, so it's very quick. Next measure, same thing. Next measure, it's the G to the D. Well, they're saying play it before the beat, so in the left hand, because the left hand's playing on the beat, so it's here. Except when it has a rest. Second line, first measure. I'm going to play the E in the right hand, the half note, with the D in the left hand, so it's here. It makes it a little trickier because in the second measure you have a rest on the first beat of the left hand. So I'm suggesting, just for learning, instead of a rest, play another D, like you play the, like the first measure in the second line again. So here. Just for that, just to help us out temporarily so we can place the E. They want the E on the beat, so those two measures of the second line is that. So you're playing the D and the E at the same time. It just helps you to Get the E. So you place those. At the, I have a habit, and I have a, just the way I was taught to play, and the way I do it is I do the grace note on the beat. So I would do the grace note on the D. -end. You go ahead and do it the way they're telling you to in the book and play it before the beat. And then go ahead and put the rest in in the left hand when you're ready. Because all we did is add a note in the second measure to help us place the, the right hand in the right spot. Because that's on the beat. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and do it before the beat. Because that's what the book is saying to do. But if I were going to play this piece, I would do it on the beat. So th that's really all. There's not a lot going on in here. In the right hand, you're starting out down here. And then the, the, going the last two measures to E to E, just reach out and learn to do that without looking. And then the last note in the first line is third finger, because that puts you in f position for coming up. And then second line, last two measures you have here, cross over, and then cross over again to go to the third line. And then fourth finger, and then like you had before, this third finger, the last note of the third line, puts you in position to go on. And then here I disagree. Now the pedals down it would help connect the notes, so you could get away with this last line, last three measures. You hear? Yeah. There's no easy way to do this. I mean, you, it's awkward one way or awkward another. Which awkward do you want? I can go here, like they're saying, but then I have to move very quickly from here to here. The pedal will connect it, so you get away with it. Another way you can try it is here. Rather than 1-5, do a 2-5. Just reach over here. And you can do that, but again, you got to go from here to here. That's a stretch. Another way of doing it, since the pedal's down, and you're going to have to move quickly anyway, is to play the quarter note with fourth finger. And you're there. So it's the last few measures, is, or the last line, let's say, is here. The pedal connects it all together. So it's like, which awkward do you want? Left hand, you just got these chords, and these are the primary chords. You just got to get in the rest when it goes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's it for the left hand to the last two measures, and then you're here. 
on the E, fourth finger, not third. Those four notes together is a chord. It is a C chord extended, meaning I'm playing the octaves, I've extended out. That is the fingering for the chord. Fourth finger on the E, not third, so it's here. And I know that's it's something you really need to get accustomed to, so I'm asking you to push yourself and do that. Get accustomed to playing fourth and fifth fingers like that with a note in between them. Something else we got to think about here on that last line, because you've been playing these things in the last line, that chord, the first measure is four, and then a two one. Well, if you do the second measure with two one, then you suddenly you got to come up. And there's no rest or nothing. You just do. So I would recommend on the second measure of the last line, instead of two one, use two three, or I should say three two, because that way your thumb's available for that C. So the last line in the left hand would be this. Rest. Like so. Because that rest gives you time to go from here to here. Dynamics wise. At the beginning it's MP or medium soft. And then you have that crescendo arrow up to medium loud. There's not a lot of difference between medium soft and medium loud. So you have to plan it out. Each note, you're just, actually it's not the notes so much as it would be a measure. Do it a measure at a time when you do it like this because you're not moving much. You're not growing, getting louder very much. So it's like the first measure is medium soft, the second measure I'd stay medium soft, and then in the third measure you can start getting up toward medium loud. So that uh, by the last measure of the first line you're medium loud. You're not loud, you're just sort of loud. So you're going from sort of soft to sort of loud. So it's here. And that's the melody. The left hand is just going to stay under it. It might grow a little bit, but it's going to stay under it. And you can get away with leaving the left hand not, not getting any louder at all on that if you want. But for the melody it's this. Medium soft. Stay there now a little louder. That E in the last measure, that's where you're headed. Because music has to flow. And you think about flowing as you're playing it, and it'll sound like you're flowing it. Otherwise, you're just playing notes. So you just hear one, two, to here, and then stay there. And then in the last measure of the second line, come back down so that you're ready for like you were at the beginning. To here. Now I play that loud. Don't play it loud. Just get medium loud. And then you're going to stay that until the last two measures. And it's the left hand that's going to bring you down. Each note is going to get a little softer. Because you end soft. Soft is softer than sort of soft. You started sort of soft. At the end, it's the softest part. It's softer than you started. You have to decide how soft and loud and things are. You can figure it out. For instance, at the beginning, what do you think medium soft is? I mean, it's going to change daily. It's for today. It's sort of soft. Okay. Now, what's sort of loud? That's loud. That's soft. Sort of soft. That's sort of loud. So I'm going to go from here to here. No, here to here. Figure out the ends. And then put in the middle. And that will do it. They're saying, showing, legato pedal just about all the way through, except maybe the last measure of the second line. And we don't pedal that because it's, it, it, get, it would get mushy. We don't want to blur that. That's what it would sound like. So no pedal on that measure, but then you can pedal the rest of it. Then at the end, the hands and the pedal come up at the same time. The last two measures. Two, 
three, off. Everybody comes up together. Let's try this out really slowly so we can check notes and rhythms. Since it's in three, four time, I'll give us three counts. Allegretto is a fun, I call it a fun speed. It's faster than moderato, slower than allegro. It's somewhere in between. So, what do you, I mean, it's going to be different for different people. How do you feel this? It would be like a... It's how you feel it. Everybody will play it a little different, and that's the beauty of it. Just don't do anything that violates what the music is telling you to do, and you're fine. All right, right hand here, left hand here, foot's on the pedal. One, ready, go.